Joe Alton, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 700 posts, videos, and podcasts on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alton, a nurse practitioner with the New York Times and Amazon best-selling authors of the Survival Medicine Handbook and other books, plus the designers of the awesome board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, recently named by the Prepared Family blog as a teaching preparedness resource of the week. In the past, we've discussed how to manage issues related to stab wounds. Recently, however, attention has been placed to shooter events where firearms take center stage to cause injuries. So I think I'd like to talk for a minute about some basics of ballistic trauma. Ballistics is the science that deals with the launching flight behavior and effects of projectiles. A projectile can include anything that can be launched by physical or mechanical means, such as a rock, a baseball, spear, arrow, bullet, or intercontinental missile. Now, in this video, we're going to discuss basics of ballistic trauma, mostly as caused from small arms fire. Knowledge of the trauma caused by bullets is not only useful in extreme survival scenarios or on the battlefield, but also for hunters and those in law enforcement. It's also very useful for the medic to understand the kinds of injuries they may be called upon to treat. Now, high velocity projectile damage as caused by a bullet is, as you can imagine, much greater than low velocity damage caused by, say, a knife. Now, this damage depends on the amount of energy the projectile possesses due to its motion. In physics, this is referred to as kinetic energy, and it follows the formula kinetic energy equals the mass of the projectile times its velocity squared and then divided by 2, or Ke equals mv squared over 2. Now, the square of a number, of course, is the number multiplied by itself, so the square of 2 is 2 times 2, or 4. Because of this, you can see from the formula that the velocity, or speed, of a projectile is more important in causing damage than its weight or its mass. Now, as a missile passes through tissue, it decelerates, transferring all of this kinetic energy to living tissue. And the result is a traumatic wound caused by several methods, including permanent cavitation, and that's the path permanently left by the projectile. Essentially, this is the bullet hole in the channel caused by its traverse through the body. Temporary cavitation, which is a wider shock wave which crushes tissues beyond the actual path of the bullet. This is caused by the dissipation of kinetic energy as the missile decelerates due to tissue resistance. Although various organs have differing elasticities, the shock wave often surpasses the tissue's ability to absorb the energy involved, thereby causing significant damage. Deformation. Now, as a bullet enters the body, it may deform, increasing its diameter and the cavity that it causes, often at the expense of depth of penetration. Hollow point bullets are an example of projectiles that are meant to deform, or in this case, mushroom, as they travel through the body. Then there's yaw. Yaw refers to the rotation of the nose of the bullet away from the line of flight. A short, high-velocity bullet begins to yaw more severely and turn upon entering tissue. Now, this causes a larger temporary cavitation and more tissue to be violently displaced. And fragmentation. Bullets may fragment as they travel through the body, and this causes multiple cavitation channels, both permanent and temporary. Some bullets are specifically designed to fragment for this very purpose, causing a great deal of damage. In future videos, we're going to discuss the different ballistic trauma characteristics of rifle, handgun, and shotgun wounds, as well as basics of treating these wounds. To see the supplies that Nurse Amy feels are important for the medic in these situations, check out her video on her gunshot wound kit on this very channel. This is Joe Alden, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Dr. Bones Nurse Amy. Follow us on Facebook at Doom and Bloom or Survival Medicine Dr. Bones Nurse Amy and Twitter at Prepper Show. And don't forget our weekly podcast, The Survival Medicine Hour on blogtalkradio.com. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.